We begin with an historic trip today for President Trump, his first ever to a combat zone. The president and first lady paid a surprise visit today to U.S. troops in Iraq. The commander in chief had been criticized for not visiting a war zone sooner. In recent days, Mr. Trump has also faced criticism for his plans to withdraw thousands of troops from Syria and Afghanistan. But the president said today he has no such plans for troops in Iraq. Chip Reed has more from the White House. President Trump and First Lady Melania Trump received a boisterous welcome as they signed autographs, posed for selfies, and chatted with U.S. troops at Al-Assad Air Base, 100 miles west of Baghdad. It's the first time the president has traveled overseas to visit U.S. troops in a war zone. Critics say it took far too long, especially compared to President Obama, who visited troops in Iraq in his first three months in office. The visit follows the president's stunning announcement last week that he will pull the remaining 2,000 U.S. troops out of Syria. During his remarks today in Iraq, he repeated his claim that ISIS has been defeated. Personally, thank you and every service member throughout this region for the near elimination of the ISIS territorial caliphate in Iraq and in Syria. Two years ago, when I became president, they were a very dominant group. They were very dominant. Today, they're not so dominant anymore. The president told reporters he had given the generals in charge of the Syria operation multiple six-month extensions, but when they asked for another one recently, he told them they've had enough time and that ISIS has been knocked out silly, despite the argument from some advisors that ISIS could mount a resurgence if U.S. troops leave. The president recently called the war in Iraq the worst single mistake ever made in the history of our country. But despite that, he told the troops today he has no plans to withdraw the 5,200 U.S. troops now in Iraq. No plans at all. No. In, fact, in fact, we could use this as a base if we wanted to do something in Syria. If you take ISIS and if we see something happening with ISIS that we don't like, we can hit them so fast and so hard they, won't, they really won't know what the hell happened. Chip, the uh, president had planned to meet with the Iraqi prime minister. What happened? Well, that meeting was turned into a phone call. The White House says it was because of security concerns, but Iraqi officials say it was because of disagreements over how to conduct that meeting. JB? Chip Reed at the White House, thank you very much.